Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. A good number of business tycoons and business, business associations in Thailand have received an open letter from Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha in seeking consultation and advice from business community in Thailand to get through COVID-19 crisis. And in the Thai PBS World tonight, our online program, Kun Thep Chai Yong and me talk to Kun Glin Sarasin, Chairman of Thai Chamber of Commerce and Board of Trade of Thailand. He began by telling us what the effects business community are facing because of COVID-19. Uh, first of all, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we have studies of what, what will happen from now on, you know, for if we shut down at least one, one month. If one month yeah. we, we estimate uh, we have uh, people have lost a job, uh, more than 7 million people. But if we uh, shut down like three months, we probably lost job about 10 million people. And the government also asked ask us, you know, what how many people we think is uh, have been affected. So we give the number to the government. And um, luckily, I think that government prepare ahead of time already since uh, January. So right now, so they have the government have money to, to give like 5,000 people to all um, like, you said like more than 10 million people got this benefit. So this is re really the, the worst case in, in, in the histories. I think which, which particular groups of people uh, that are being hurt the most as far as unemployment is concerned? Uh, right now, the service sector, especially people dealing with tourism, they are the most uh, uh, the, the affected the most. For example, from the hotel, from food sectors, from shopping center, something like this, retails, all these people are affected. But still, you know, the, 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 you still have some hope in the future because everyone is helping stay at home and work from home. So the number of the, the people, new cases is reducing. So I'm, I think it's good, good news from that. Kundalini, you have proposed sandbox to the government in order to solve the economic crisis. Can you tell us more about the sandbox that you have proposed? Yes, uh, our proposal, uh, our committee consists of uh, many doctors, uh, from people from TDRI, from uh, Chamber of Commerce, a provincial Chamber of Commerce, a trade association. So a lot of people coming to help us to do it. So we come out with the metrics. The first metric is come from area base. They have the, the provincial in the, uh, the green zone, yellow zone, and also red zone. The green zone has been past 14 days. You have no, no COVID at all. And the yellow zone have some, and red zone still have, have a lot of people in his hospitals. But another one is sector base. Sector base also the green zone, yellow zone, and also the red zone. But if the, the green zone, you meet with the green zone, uh, meet with the, the sector zone, the green zone also, that means it's, it's automatically, you can open your business. But if the red zone, uh, provincial red zone, and you cross with the green zone, a, a green zone for the, for the business sector, that means you have to be, watch out, be careful. So this is our, our concept. It's the matter of survival, isn't it? And for how long do you think that the business can be up and coming after the sandbox? Or what's the factor or what's the situation that you have to evaluate after experimenting with the sandbox that you have just told us? From my personal point of view, I think the most important thing, we have to focus on the health of the people of Thailand. But if from now on, if each day is improving better and better, so I'm sure the government will be ease open up a little bit, little bit. You cannot open up everything at the same time. Is is you have can you can see many uh, examples from other countries already. So the uh, the government really want to make sure that standard has been set in place, application should be set in place, and then after that, step by step. So uh, I think it will take some time. So uh, the, the COVID will be with us for at least a year and a half. So make sure mm -hmm. that you know, you're ready for everything. Kun Green, this, uh, this uh, pandemic certainly came as a rude awakening to everyone. It affecting every 
walks of life in 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 the whole world, not only in Thailand. So as a business businessman, I'm I'm sure that you are this is something you and did not expect it to happen. But as a businessman, how do you see the situation? How do you see the post COVID nineteen scenario? There are people out there who say that uh, we certainly cannot go back to business as usual anymore. So how do you see the future of businesses? I'm sure that the business will be changed a lot. Mm-hmm. And we we are using the for digital technology more and more. So right now, uh, Thai Chamber of Commerce we are setting up the new application. This should be finished within two weeks. So matching up with the people, uh, no 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 employment, with uh-huh. with the the de- demand and supply, with the the mm-hmm. company who really want the people uh, to work for them. Another one that yeah. uh, they want the people to. To lay off, so we have to match up mm-hmm. this application. So this is one thing that we want to help the people, and also we can have to see our national stra- strategies. Maybe in the future we have to see more. Uh, we can move it to more uh, value-added uh, business with mm-hmm. the agricultural products, and also we can see right now for the food business is very good. For example, the food processing, and we can right now we can export. Food everywhere in the world. We are we are mm. center of uh, manufacturing food. So this is one of yeah. the strength of our our, mm. our uh, countries. And also in the future, we can see that how can we use a local economy to promote our uh, economy, not not mm. only uh, import uh, tourism from other countries, and also yeah. not only depend on export product alone. And how do you think of? Prime Minister open letter to British business people and business community. Is that a good move? Uh, I, I think this is uh, quite innovative, you know, <laughs> because I, I I never know that the, the you mentioned these are rich people, these are poor people, but I think that uh, the people who would like to help the government, we have a lot of people who like mm-hmm. to help government. So if you can ask them if you want to help government. What can you do? Mm. This is better, mm. yeah, be- better than ask them. You are rich people. You have to help government. So <laughs> those people, those people, uh, top twenty. What you said that majority of them uh, belong to Thai Chamber of Commerce. They are member of, of Thai Chamber of Commerce, and they already help you know, the countries. They in the our mm. committees and they send people to help. They send uh, the money. They send many things to help. You know, sometimes these people don't want to show up that they were helping. They uh, work around. You know, they go behind. They don't want to show them their face. That I think is good way mm. to do it. You know, so but okay, it's quite innovative that the government uh, asked these people to come and, and show up. That's the view from Kun Glin Sarasin that right now health is priority in fighting against COVID-19 at the moment. And that's all from Thai PBS World tonight. ทั้งหมดคือข่าวภาษาอังกฤษและที่นี่ไทย PBS สำหรับคืนนี้ค่ะ